All right, so the first thing we want to look at is how to select objects in PowerPoint. And um, a couple ways you can do this. One is you can drag over your objects, click and drag, and then select them this way. One of the nice things with PowerPoint is it'll only select those objects that you're completely around. Now, it's not completely around what you can see. It's completely around this square. The reason I say that is because you can have an object and let me make one real quick. So we'll take uh, this object here and we'll make this clear. Um, and we'll get rid of the line as well. So now in this case we have an object here which again you can't see. Now you can see me select it. We have the object here. I'm going to group it. Now this right here is the entire object. So if I went and did the selection tool you would notice that even though it looks like I'm doing the orange, I can never select the orange object because the entire object actually goes around here. So the, the one of the tricks is that you need to go all the way around the object. And um, so that's one way to, to group. So you're only going to be able to select, so let me make another shape here. You're only going to be able to select those objects where you're going entirely around the object's perimeter. So um, if I wanted to grab everything, I would drag it, and then I've got everything selected. Now another thing that you can do is you can select objects, let me move them around a little, and uh, unselect them. So I can grab all my objects here, and then if I want to unselect it, I can hit the Shift key and then click on an object, and as you can see now, this one's unselected. And I can do the opposite. I can click the Shift key and select them. So sometimes I'll just drag over everything and select it that way or sometimes I'll just hit the shift key and click and uh, select that way. So whatever is going to work for you but it's a lot of people don't know this and so it's a quick way to select and unselect objects. This re works really well when we're working with clip art. So let's go ahead and look at a clip art image. So when I'm working with clip art uh, I've ungrouped this. Now if you look at it it's just a ton of stuff here and if I wanted to try to pull stuff out of the clip art it just becomes unmanageable. So what I can do is I can just click and drag a certain area. In this case I'm going to click and drag and I want to just take this, the woman or let's do this. Let's do the garbage can since it's a lot easier. I'm going to click and drag the garbage can and as you can see I've selected just that garbage can. I can take that, copy it, move it away. Now I've got my garbage can isolated. I can do the same thing with the woman click and drag her, copy it, and then I can uh, begin to delete these things. And again, I can uh, click and drag, which would help me uh, select and delete things a lot faster. And then let's zoom in. I'll show you, because uh, I get a lot of questions about the clip art anyway. So if I click and drag her, or I don't want need to drag everything, but so I want to unselect some stuff. So I can uh, unselect her hands and um, do something like that. And if I hit delete, then you'll see her hands are still there. Obviously, she's now a cyclops. So unless you're doing uh, e-learning scenarios for uh, Greek mythology, you probably want to repair that. So anyway, that's a quick way to select your objects and how you might want to use it. Something else to consider is because, let me zoom out, uh, because of the click and dragging, it's a quick way to be able to isolate things. So like in this case, if I want just this object, I can click and drag and now I've got it. I don't need to go dig through the layers to get that object.